why did I decided to build a CNC router for 3D printing? Let's find out. Hi, welcome to Slow Engineering. I'm David. I built a Voron printer as my second printer and did lots of tuning to optimize its dimensional accuracy and quality. As long as the nozzle is in round shape, the distortions on the corner is inevitable. Also, the plastic shrinkage affects the final dimensional accuracy even though the nozzle is laid down the material at the right position when printing. The control functions like pressure advance and input shaper did quite a lot on the final printing quality. Still, the layer lines cannot be removed and it might cause improper z-direction qualities for some tight tolerance applications. In order to get more dimensional accuracy, there are lots of post-processing methods to enhance both surface quality and overall dimensional accuracy. At the current stage, I use a handheld engraver to grind out the extra material on the prints. As a common sense, a handheld tool is not easy to grind evenly on surfaces. Sometimes an aggressive movement will ruin the prints. Here comes the saw to build a CNC router to improve both surface quality and dimensional accuracy. There are several boundary conditions for this CNC machine. First, the CNC machine is able to cut and grind the 3D printed parts. Second, this machine performs more precisely on dimensions. Third, if the dimensional accuracy is good, this machine can also perform as a measure platform. Fourth, the frame should be relatively rigid than the 3D printer I built before to perform no distortion even with cutting and grinding processes. For sourcing, the 2020 aluminum extrusions are easy to obtain as a basic frame structure. Most of the connections are standard corner connections on 2020 extrusions to reduce cost. The movement is driven by the ball screw to perform precise movement and rigidity. The linear rails will constrain the movement only in a direction. Some of the connections at the edge will use 3D printed parts I tested before as material. Unfortunately, the ball screw supports are not suitable to use 3D printed parts, so the final decision is using metal parts on them to make sure no further issues when loading these precise ball screws. Some other parts on the CNC machine which need to perform dimensional accuracy are also made of metal parts. Only the parts which are not in critical positions and loads are used in 3D printing parts. You might wonder about the type of the router. The Wooming gantries and the bass slingers are my original candidate frame structures. The type of moving gantry is more advantageous on big XY plan size but has a potential misalignment due to dual ball screws homing. It also needs to buy one more ball screws and will perform lower stiffness than the bass slinger one. That is why the frame structure is designed with the best linger type to lower the cost and enhance rigidity. This would be a new series of building a CNC router for 3D printing post-processing. Next video will start to build the machine. Like, share this video and subscribe to this channel if you think this is interesting. Or consider becoming a Patreon member to support my project. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.